world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I've shared my experiences of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times, I have given my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media from my very own perspective. And finally, I like to uh, cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And as I said before, I eventually would like to take my blogs and turn it into something creative and uh, have more nerdy topics on here, such as what's going on with NASA and uh, how I am planning on becoming more of a nerd slash geek myself. So, anyway, um, I wanted to mention that I have been covering the 2014 Dragon Con season. And I wanted to let you guys know that it has officially been two weeks since Dragon Con has ended. And um, it, this is the 14th of September in the year 2014. So anyway, what I wanted to do was um, list off um, five new things at Dragon Con that I have never done before. And here they are. The first one is that... Uh, I had attended a vegan potluck on Thursday night um, right before the Dragon Con event or before the convention began and um, I got to go up to a room party uh, and um, it, which was in the Hilton uh, downtown uh, and the host and hostess were from New York City and in the, the Long Island area. I just I really enjoyed talking to them. But um, this was, it was this nice couple, and uh, they had driven all around town just to find food, find restaurants that carried um, vegan and vegetarian cuisine. So the majority of the food there was Chinese, and then they had gluten-free and uh, vegan desserts, which were really interesting. I don't really remember what, what the desserts were, but I was uh, really fascinated that they... Uh, could come up with a uh, mock vegan slash vegetarian shrimp, which is definitely okay with me because I uh, do not uh, eat shrimp. I keep kosher, so that was a okay. Um, and then I mean the people in there were just a lot of fun to talk to. Um, and this was next to being up on the eighth floor of the Hilton, or I don't know, don't remember what floor it was, but it was pretty high up. And as I was looking out. Um, I could see the pool at uh, the Marriott, and, and if you look closely and you're on the other, I don't know, on um, the Cortland Street side, and you're high up, you can look over and uh, see that the pool uh, has the shape of Pac-Man's mouth. So I thought that was really fun. Um, and then the second thing that I really uh, remember doing is uh, someone had wanted to take my picture and of course I've had people take pictures of me countless times whether I'm a Vulcan, whether I'm Fluttershy or Twilight Sparkle or I was in one of my Renaissance costumes whatever. This time someone was walking around carrying a great big, not, not, not a giant dragon but he was small enough that you could hold in your hands but it was a dragon and I think he was doing it at as a part of a theme for Dragon Con 2014, and uh, he also had a uh, very, very high uh, resonant, or I don't know what the term is, he had a very, uh, very high-tech camera that could take uh, phenomenal pictures. So I held the dragon, and I was in my Fluttershy cosplay, and I gave the dragon the stare. Um, and then I took my own camera, and I had him take pictures of me holding that dragon again, and um, giving him the stare, uh, you know, just as Fluttershy would in the TV show, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. And then um, a third thing that I did, which was really fun, is uh, my friend Andrew is a big fan of football, and he is especially in love with the Georgia Bulldogs. And it was uh, on that Saturday, I don't know, maybe the 30th of August, that the Georgia Bulldogs did super well. So Andrew and I decided to celebrate by you know, dunking into the swimming pool inside the Hilton, you know, on that rooftop area. And um, I jumped in, or I didn't jump in, I just slowly walked in with my clothes and I went underwater a few times just for Andrew. I mean, I'm not a fan of football at all. I'd be more interested in studying astronomy or 
cheering for the next uh, edition of the space shuttle taking off and going uh, further out into space. But I clearly did it for Andrew since um, he had been a great uh, co-host. And then he jumped in by uh, stripping down to his boxers and going into the water. And he did it while I went to the bathroom and I went out. And he was out there putting his hands in the air going, yeah, woo. And then uh, we put our clothes back on. <laughs> so, um, And then a fourth thing that I uh, never thought I would ever see myself doing was... Um, I had attempted to watch a few players uh, do it, you know, challenge to a game of, or as a role playing, a tabletop role playing non campaign game. I'm not going to give the name, but basically I was curious about it and I decided to see how it worked and um, I tried to ask questions based on the, the game and not talk about everything else. and. Uh, Apparently, the the other gamers were not happy that I was there, and they had protested on two things. The first one being is that I uh, my questions kept interrupting the flow of the game, and the second one being that uh, they had paid their uh, tickets to play. Now, the tickets uh, were only about three dollars uh, per game, and it was about four hours. So uh, the game master was incredibly ugly about it, and. Uh, he was, you know, he wasn't very, he was not very helpful at all. So he basically told me I had to leave the room, and um, it was so hurt. I was so hurt about it that I was crying, and um, I ended up talking to a few other people down in the other uh, main gaming gaming area, and uh, they were not happy. So what I decided to do was um, get in contact with the director of uh, the non-campaigning uh, role-playing game role-playing gaming uh, for Dragon Con, and he was uh, very nice about it, and so he forwarded the information to the supervisor, and the supervisor apologized, and uh, he had said that um, there was a demo game going on right next to the table where um, where, that, where that other group of meatheads were where I was, and they said that um, he should have sent me over to that game, and I could have talked about it all night long for all they cared, so anyway. Um, and then, this one was really annoying, but this is the fifth one. Well, there's so many people this year, and it got overcrowded. Someone ended up stepping on one of my flip-flops, and um, the part that goes between your, two t your big toe and uh, your skinnier toe ended up getting ripped out. So, I ended up having to walk around Dragon Con barefoot um, on all, the, all day Monday. I mean, it didn't bother me. But, you know, and I had another pair of uh, shoes that I could uh, wear. I mean, they weren't nice shoes. They were high heels that I was going to wear to um, the Tolkien uh, 70s party on Saturday night, which I never got around to. I just am lucky to have them in case I would have um, needed to carry to take the bus home. Luckily, I ended up uh, r running into a nice gentleman, and he ended up bringing me home. So... Uh, that's it for Dragon Con 2014. It is done. It is over. Um, what else is there to say? I mean, there are there probably will be other conventions, and I guess I'll be getting back to talking about um, issues with autism and um, possibly be posting uh, the video, or the rest of the videos. So, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and if if you like what you see, please be sure to click and share, and comment below, and also, don't forget to subscribe. I'm signing off now, and I'll see you next time. Bye.